Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 4th of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Energy Affairs ECM Ensembles. Maybe on we'll a couple of weeks, have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us into the second half of June. I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first, a video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. Uh, we've also uh, released the final update for summer 2025 as lot well, along with gals webbing sunday round up in a busy day of content at gals webbing today so please like share and subscribe thank you so much everyone uh, for doing that for us we need to put on around 50 subscribers get us out 90.8k so if you could give us a sub that'd be absolutely amazing thank you so much everyone i have uh, flared up a little bit overnight i'm quite sore i think it's hay fever so i'm off camera today anyway let's crack on with uh the bit we're going to start off with blade smooth map from earth nullschool.net showing that uh, low pressure is now in control of the weather sitting between iceland and scotland and bring bringing in uh, a proper westerly flow from off the atlantic into western europe Central in temperature is uh, currently sitting at 12.5, that's 1.4 degree, above 61 times on the average, and that provisional to the 23rd of May. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at London today, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off around to below average with the upper air temperatures at the moment, but they're going to be lifting up. As we go in towards uh, month's end, and then generally above average, really, as we go through that first week and into the second week of May. There are a few very hot outliers, you'll notice these ones clustering up here will be bring, bringing up quite an extreme level of heat for so early on in the summer. They're outliers, but uh, the trend is a warming one uh, by the look of it. As we're going from the first week into the second week of June. Precipitation wise, it's a little bit mixed, I have to say. So, um, you know, showering conditions for the rest of May, anyway. And then into the first week of June, potentially looking uh, rather wet with some quite big precipitation spikes being. So, I think that firmed up on an unsettled first week of June. Um, and we saw that flip, of course, yesterday, yesterday's model output, and it looks like that's confirmed today. But we'll go through chart data in a moment. Temperature anomalies, next five days, that's 30 for Bay, a little bit below average for the north, a little bit above average for the south, six to ten day. Temperature anomaly, particularly above average for England and Wales, and ten to fourteen day, also uh, rather above average across most parts of the country. So temperature's holding up. But more unsettled, seven-day uh, precipitation and not until the 1st of June, looking wetter than average in central northern or western areas, 8 to 14 day. Well, start to go a bit drier down in the south, but still quite wet up in the north. That gets us to the 8th of June. Right, let's start going with chart data then. Miss Avalanche's UK mate, you're a run. Looking for a big night on Wednesday, the low pressure punching through the country, bringing bringing out breaks of rain with it. High pressure then starts bridging up from the southwest from the Azores uh, towards the last stage, stages of next week. Bring some white, drier, warmer weather there, but still unset with low pressure to the north. By the time we get through to uh, next weekend, it looks like we've got a more definite area of low pressure starting to develop to the southwest approach. Where that low goes, of course, will be quite important. So if that low goes in that direction, you're going to bring a very wet weather with it. If it was to go down towards uh, Biscay in Portugal, it's possible it would start to pull up some much hotter air from uh, the south. So a little bit uncertain there. I can't again uh, pushing low pressure through on Wednesday, looking unsettled through Thursday, Friday. High pressure is to the south, low pressure is to the north, rather showering. And then into next weekend, uh, well, low pressure again sitting uh, to the north and west of Scotland. So basically keeping keep wind in from the west and again looking rather cool and rather showering. And then we've got the KMA uh, looking like this. So again, some higher pressure to the south, lower pressure away to the north and west but looking quite unsettled i have to say with the uh, kma all the way out to the sixth of june as far as we get to high pressure out to the west so we're bringing in this uh northwesterly to northerly type flow and then the gfs uh midnight run almost of a match this so again low pressure is punching through 
on Wednesday. And then high pressure reaching up from south, bringing a lot of dry and warm weather into the south. First and Friday more unsettled up to the north though. And then into the weekend and next week, well, high pressure gradually trying to ridge in from the southwest. So they're all that far away with the uh, Azores high for the course of next week, but not able to get a sustained high pressure going such as we have had through uh, uh, the pretty much of the spring. So, I mean, that's the 6th of June, 300 hours, long way out, but low pressure is back in then after a couple of days under the ridge. Perhaps a more definitive high of building to our east into the second week of the month, but still with low pressure influences and quite warm as well, pulling wind up from a southerly or a southeasterly direction. Mixed charts today, aren't they? And then the GFS 6Z uh, looks like that. So, second half of this uh, coming week, he's high pressure building into the south, bringing a lot of dry and warm weather there. Always a little bit more unsettled, though, up to the north. And then into the weekend, while high pressure slipping eastwards, bringing up this uh, very warm southerly flow. A nice ridge for a couple of days, but low pressure comes back in for days 9 and 10, bringing further mix and showering conditions. Looking quite wet then as we go through into the, uh, into the second half of the following week. So this is Friday, 6th of June, quite unsettled. Uh, again, a ridge building to our northeast, though. 8th of June, low pressure out to the west. That does bring up some potentially very warm, quite hot air from the south. So plus 10 cells iceberg pushing north, plus 15 cells iceberg is into France. So it's not like winds are going to stay from generally a southerly or southeast direction. So I don't think temperatures are going to be a problem, especially into June. It looks quite warm, but it does not mean some potentially a bit volatile actually. Some of these lows and whatnot could be supporting not only some heavy rain, but uh, maybe even thunder. Oh, that could be quite interesting and exciting for convective fans. Well, if you're enjoying the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Webbins and get them to subscribe too. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. For us, about 50 subscribers will get us to 90.8k. So if you could give us a sub, that would be amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. Hope you're having a lovely Sunday. GM, once more, pushing a low pressure through on Wednesday. Memphis Thursday and Friday, the south is mostly dry, I think, but warm, more unsettled up in the north. And then heading through next weekend, well, low pressures to our south, moving north was bringing some uh, quite warm and humid and stable air with it, but maybe the risk of some downpours and some thunder as well. And then around days 9 and 10, we're under uh, a trough of low then, I think. So at the very, at the very least, looking quite showering and quite mixed with the gem. And then the ECM rounds it all off again with high pressure trying to build up from the south late uh, in the coming week. But uh, overall looking a bit mixed. So next weekend, uh, 1st of June, sees low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. We're under an area of low pressure there on the 2nd of June. And that takes us to day 10 with a trough over the north of Western Europe looking quite cool and quite showery. And the low pressures remain really as we head on. Um, towards the second week of June as well. That's as far as we get to with the ECM. Low pressure to our north and east. Uh, low pressure to the southwest, I should say. High pressure to the north and east. So probably quite warm, but again, unstable with showers and or longer spells of rain looking quite likely. This is the precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tometcho.com. So, showering conditions over the rest of the bank holiday weekend. And by the end of tomorrow, some uh, quite wet weather heading into northern and western areas. That becomes a bit patchy as it moves into the southeast. But then further rain pushing through around Tuesday. Back more focused on the south as well. And um, then we've got more wet weather to come later on uh, next week as well. Uh, most uh, showery conditions carry on into the beginning of June as well. Showers and or longer spells of rain. There could be some quite, mi uh, some quite big downpours mixed in. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 4th of June. 25 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure in control. High pressure away to the southwest and winds coming in from a, from a west sea direction. That looks quite unsettled. We've got 18 clean control control the operational run with a big trough right over top of the country and then eight is down to the southwest approach here so that also looking unsettled all options are low pressure dominated you'll notice at day 10 now which is a big change of what we've seen 
not only in the forecast days, over the past few days actually, but a big change you might have seen over the past seven weeks and months. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Yes, it's the 9th of June, 19 members of the ECM on some keep things unsettled with low pressure in from off the Atlantic. 13 with high pressure to the west of the northwest. Around that, we bring the wind in. But the northerly, the northeast direction, probably a bit showery, and, uh, but drier, actually, of course, you know, with higher pressure out to the west. So that's get, going back to like a drier option. Uh, 11 with high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north. That could be a bit mixed, but for the south, probably not too bad. And then 8 with a Scandinavian high, and that'll be bringing in uh, a very warm easterly wind. So whilst the majority option is the unsettled one, the 19 here, including the control run and the operational run, um, we actually see a majority, probably 13, 8, and maybe the 11 here even, but a more anti-cyclone. So it may not be that bad uh, as we go into the second week of June. We'll see. And then CFSB2 finally beats a 500 millibar height as well. And they broke it down into wheat pairs. The first wheat pair takes from between 5th of May to the 31st. Low pressure is to the north. High pressure down towards Spain. And we bring the wind in from a westerly direction. And then uh, week two is the first through to the 7th of June with high pressure again around Spain. Low pressure around Iceland. And we bring the wind in from the west once more. Week 3 will be the 8th to the 14th of June, with high pressure pulled out to the west, and that brings the wind in from the west or west direction. And then finally, week 4, rounding it all off, it's the 15th to the 21st of June, with high pressure just out to the west, and that brings the wind in again from a west or a northwesterly direction. So, probably relatively anticyclonic signals here into June, but always on the cool side of the uh, anticyclone by the look of it. So, not a heat wave, and uh, potentially uh, a little bit showery at times as well, I think, as we'll probably be seeing uh, low pressure, ooh, what's up there? low pressure, um, doing something a bit like that. We'll be kind of on the periphery, but at times likely to get showery conditions with that. But we'll see. It's long way off, and time will tell. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all my videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gav's movies and get them to subscribe too. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Around 50 subscribers gets us to, like, there I am. Hello. Around 50 subscribers gets us to um, 19.8k. So click your sub. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. I see my eyes are a little bit sore today. Um, but I thought I'd put the camera on at the end. Right, OK. Well, tomorrow, back on Monday, of course. So we've got 6 a.m. Uh, UK weather forecast. And uh, we'll have a re-upload tomorrow for our historic video. So uh, the early May bank holiday... We did summer 1995, I think, didn't we? Voted for by Gaz Weathers. I thought we'd just follow that on, see it through uh, to the winter of 95 96, uh, which I recorded, I think, on Bank Holiday Monday, August Bank Holiday Monday 2013. Uh, a very long time ago. So you got Young Gab again tomorrow. I'm going to uh, get that to uh, you know, download it from the original channel and then re upload it to the Gaz Weathers YouTube channel. You'll be able to see that tomorrow from 10 a.m. No videos and content back on Tuesday. You enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend. Uh, but this one, that's all for now. I'm off to do the second job. And then I've got three days off. I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off tomorrow. I think I'll just spend my day sleeping. <laughs> and then Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, you know, videos and whatnot. We'll be back and content will be back to normal. Okay, well, you enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend. This one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.